and today I'm working inside up on this top level. It's pretty comfortable in here. It's cold outside, about 20 degrees outside. It's probably about 40 degrees in the house, which feels pretty good compared to outside. I'm working on these posts right here. These guys here, I've got a couple over there. Uh, all together, I've got to do 18 of them. I got three done today, so that's 15 left to do. And uh, what they are comprised of is three of these boards. Uh, one, this is the center beam, and then there's these two that go on the side and kind of sandwich in there. Uh, I've got these pre-prepared holes here that are measured out. I ran a line from you know either end, uh, snapped the line, marked it off, and uh, this is we've got these little slots here where the uh, uh, the posts go in. Uh, I took the bottom and kind of cut off the corner to help it make the radius a little bit better. And the idea here is you just kind of slide it in. What I did with the last one is I just sort of tap it down. As I tap it in this way, it drives it down into the floor. And I'm kind of pulling down as I go too. Before I did this, I went in and I put a board in here and kind of opened this up a little bit. Just make it slide a little easier. Wanted to give it a little extra too. So, pulling it down and it's not there yet, but I'm going to be checking it as I go with the level and see when it's nice and plumb. It'll take a while though. We've got a bit to go. Not there yet. I can kind of just eyeball it off the next, uh, the last one I did. There yet. That might help. That did help. Just kind of knocked the other side in because I think it was jamming up on the boards there. The trick is I don't want to overshoot it because it, as I'm driving it, it's kind of sliding down. If I overshoot it and I have to hit it back, there'd be a little gap up at the top there. So I don't want to overshoot it. Okay, that's starting to get close, so I'm going to give it a check. Nope, not there yet. It's nice that I can eyeball it off the last one. Nope, not there yet. Nope. I wasn't looking forward to this step in the process because it's so redundant. 19 of them, each of them has three boards. And there's just a lot of this meticulous stuff. And when it's done, all you got is a couple of two and a half, three foot columns. So it's not really all that exciting. But they rigidify the house and make it stronger for a storm. Just a tiny bit. I think that's it. So it's worth doing. Check this out. That might be it. Let's see. Did that do it? A tiny bit more. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, now the next step in the process is getting the uh, the outside pieces on. Now these are just sort of rough cut to about the right length. They're just a little bit longer, and what I've been doing is I just kind of eyeball their plumbness right here. Take a pencil and mark them. I'll go downstairs, chop that off, and then the whole thing gets nailed up. This guy gets nailed in top, and I have to go down under the floor, nail in the bottom, and then these guys get nailed into the sides with uh, six nails each. So that's it. It's just a lot of repetition today, but things coming together. It's getting drier in here. We're still missing a couple little roof sections, but allegedly we're going to be getting those pieces pretty soon. And also, uh, we're supposed to be getting our final windows pretty soon. It turns out they weren't on back order. They just got put in someone else's pile and they were gonna, about to get shipped to the wrong state. Um, so we're glad we caught that before they, they shipped way across the country and then they had to, I don't know, ship them back. Who knows? That's it. Thanks for watching.